Hi everyone, today I will demonstrate how to use Brook Sniper. The goal today is to configure the touchpad features on the controller to the keyboard and mouse. The touchpad feature is not supported with every game, so today we will demonstrate by using Metal Gear Solid 5. Okay, now when we press the left area of the touchpad on the PS4 controller, some game setting windows will pop up. Press again to close the window. Now we press the right area of the touchpad and the map will pop up on the screen. And this is pretty much all the touchpad feature in this game. Now I will show you how to use Sniper app and configure this feature onto the keyboard and mouse. Okay, now we open the Sniper app and here is the main screen. Press the configure icon, which is also the controller's icon, to get into the configuration interface. We will notice there is an edit button, new button, and load button. First of all, we need to press new to add new configure file. Now we see four console supported by Sniper. Since we are using PS4 today, so we press PS4. Then we press Custom. Now we press Save to save this configure file. Now we can select the configure file we just saved. And press Edit to start the configuration. In the edit window, click keyboard. The PS4 controller interface will appear, and every button have already have their corresponding key on the keyboard. Touchpad already have a default key, which is the tab key on your keyboard. We will change it from tab key to the key we prefer. Now we will press the tab key on the interface, and it will now show its lessening. Now, since we want the PS4 controller's touchpad to be Z on the keyboard, so we hit Z. We can see the corresponding key of the touchpad is now Z on the keyboard. And you will see a F4 key on the left. This means after we finish the configuration, F key will switch on this config file, working properly. Press save, then it's done. Let's test if we've successfully applied the new setting. Hit the FC button to switch on the config file we just saved. Now hit the Z on the keyboard and move the mouse to the left. We can see the game menu pop up on the screen. We hit Z again to get back to the game. We do the same thing again. Hit Z and move the mouse to the right. Now the map is shown. That's it for today's demonstration. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And please feel free to contact us if there's any questions. Thank you.